Welcome to the Past Paper 2 Questions Video 2 on the Bubble Sort Algorithm. In this video, I will go through the past paper questions that have come up on Bubble Sort Algorithm in the Edexcel Decision 1 Maths A Level module. But this revision is useful for any of the Decision Maths modules at A Level. Um, for more help with your math studies, please see my YouTube channel at Haggerty Maths or my website at mrhaggertymaths.com. Okay, two questions have come up. As always, pause the video, have a go at the question, and then mark your work against mine. I'll go through it in 10 seconds. Probably best if you had a printout, but if not, just uh, use the on-screen question. Here we go. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, um, I want to put these in le in descending order. It's important to um, make sure you read the question carefully, and we're using bubble sort here. There are other algorithms later that will also help. Now, you are asked to only write down your result at the end of each pass. So, if descending, then I want biggest going to smallest. So, usually helpful to write that down so I don't make any silly mistake. First thing I do, I like to write down the numbers. 23, 29, 11, 34, 10, 14, 35, and 17. Okay, pass one. Okay, want the biggest first? These need to swap. 29 here, think of 23. Compare with 11, 23 is in the right place. 11 with 34, 34 needs to go here. 11 with 10, 11 needs to go here. 10 with 14, 14 needs to go here. 10 with 35, 35 needs to go here. And 10 with 17, 17 needs to go there. And 10, the smallest, has bubbled its way to the back. Let's have another go at pass two. Okay, do we need to swap? No, 29 is good. Do we need to swap? Yes, 34 needs to go here. Think of 23 here. 23 with 11, that's good. Uh, 11 with 14, need to swap. 14 here, think of 11 here. 11 with 35 needs a swap, 35 here, 11 here, and 11 with 17 needs a swap, so the 17 there, and 11, the next smallest number, has gone to the back of the list. Okay, let's go for pass 3. Okay, 29 and 34 needs a swap, think of 29 here. 29 and 23, that's good. 23 and 14, that's good. 14 and 35 needs a swap. Think of 14 here, and 14 and 17 need to swap, so 17 there, and 14, the next smallest number, has gone to the end of the list. Okay, let's go for another pass, pass 4. Do these need to swap? No, it's good, 34 is good. Do these? No, 29 is good. Do these? Yes, 35 needs to go there, and think of 23 here, okay, and then the 17 is in the right place. So we've done another round. And let's go for pass five. Do these need to swap? No, that's good, 34 is good. Do these? Well, yes, 35 needs to go there. Think of 29 here. Compare 29 with 23, it's all good. Uh, 29 there, 23, the next smallest has gone to the back and the numbers are getting close to being in order. Um, pass six, do these need to swap? Yes, 35 there. 34 there, compare that with 29, it's all good there. Um, and actually at this stage, the numbers are in order. However, the bubble sort needs a final pass where it goes through and checks everything's, uh, there's been no swaps and that's when it knows it's in order. And at this case, it, do it goes through, it makes no swaps, so it knows everything is now in the order you required. And for four marks, that's really quite easy uh, marks in the exam. So I hope you got the answer there. Okay, and that was uh, January 2011, question two. Now to take a look at a uh, next question. This is January 2012, uh, decision one, question five. Pause the video, have a go, and then mark your work against mine.
Okay, um, here are the numbers uh, and they are uh, in order. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy them down. Uh, they are not, uh, I'm going to copy them down as they come up in the question just for my own benefit. And write them underneath here. Okay, they're my numbers that I'm dealing with. Okay, it wants us to put these in descending order using the bubble sort, stating, uh, given the state of the list after each complete pass. So descending means biggest to smallest. Always useful to write that down. Okay, let's go through each pass. So pass one. No need to swap. Five's in the right place. Need to swap the eight and the one. Eight goes here. Think of one here. One and thirteen, swap. Think of one here. One and sixteen, swap. Think of one here. One and five, swap. Think of one here. One and eight, swap. Think of one here. Two and one, swap. Think of one here. And so on. You will see clearly in this case, that the one ends up in the in the back. Whenever you get to the smallest number in the list, it ends up getting shoved to the back. And that's pass one done. Pass two, need to swap. Think of the five here. Need to swap. Think of the five here. Need to swap. Think of the five here. No need to swap. They're the same. So that five goes there. Need to swap. Think of the five here. Need to swap. Uh, does not need to swap because the five's bigger. So write down your five. Need to swap. So think of the two. Need to swap. Think of the two here. Need to swap. And the two, the next smallest number, has gone to the back. And that's pass two done. Pass three. Okay. Need to swap. 13 here. Think of the eight here. Needs to swap. 16 here. Think of the eight here. Does not need to swap because eight's bigger than five. Okay. Needs to swap this eight and five. So eight here. Think of the five here. Um, no need to swap because 5 and 5 are the same. 5 and 15 need to swap and the 5 here. Uh, 5 and 12, so think of the 5 here. 5 and 12, 12 goes here. Think of 5 and need to swap the 10 here and put the 5 here. The next smallest number in the list goes to the back. Okay, pass 4 next. These need to swap. 16 here, 13 here. No need to swap. So write your 13. 8 and 8, no need to swap. 8 and 5, no need to swap. 5 and 15, needs a swap. So then the 5, think of the 5 here. 5 and 12, needs a swap. Think of the 5 here. 5 and 10, needs a swap. Think of 5. The next smallest number to be pushed to the back. Okay, pass 5 next. Do these need a swap? No. Do these? No. Do these? No. Do these? Yes. 15 is bigger than 8. Think of 8 here. 8 and 12, yes. Think of 8 here, and 10 and 8, yes, 10 here, and 8. The next smallest number has been pushed to the back, as so. And that's past 5 done. Past 6, 16 and 13, no, that's good. 13 and 8, uh, no, that's good. 8 and 15, yes, 8 here, uh, 15 here, think of 8 here. 8 and 12, yes, think of 8 here. 8 and 10, yes, 8, the next smallest number has been pushed to the back of the list as required. Pass seven, okay. No need to swap. Do need to swap, 15 is bigger than 13. No need to swap, 13 is bigger than 12. No need to swap because 12 is bigger than 10. And you know that 10 is the next smallest number in your list. Okay, and then lastly, pass eight. You have to run through the entire list and run through it this time. There is no need to swap anything, so your computer knows the algorithm has terminated, okay? Because there's been no swaps, so it knows everything is now in descending order as required. And that is the answer to this. Uh, and it's a five mark question, the January D1 2012 question. I hope you found the following useful in your revision and your work on decision one. Thank you for watching.